the King James Bible, the first book of the Chronicles, chapter 9. So all Israel were reckoned by genealogies, and behold, they were, were written in the book of the kings of Israel and Judah, who were carried away to Babylon for their transgression. Now the first inhabitants that dwelt in their possessions in their cities were the Israelites, the priests, Levites, and the Nethinims. And in Jerusalem dwelt of the children of Judah, of and of the children of Benjamin, and of the children of Ephraim and Manasseh. Uthai, the son of Amihud, the son of Omri, the son of Imri, the son of Bani, of the children of Phares, the son of Judah, and of the Shilonites, Azahiah, the firstborn, and his sons, and the and of the sons of Zariah, Jewel, and their brethren, 690. And of the sons of Benjamin, Salu, the son of Meshalom, the son of Hodaviah, the son of Hanesua, and Ibniah, the son of Jer Jerahom, and Ella, the son of Uzi, the son of Mechri, and Meshalom, the son of Sephaphathiah, the son of Ruel, the son of Ibnajah, and their brethren, according to their generations, nine hundred and fifty-six. All these men were chief of their fathers in the house of their fathers, and of the priests, Jediah and Jehoreb and Jason, and Azariah, the son of Hilkiah, the son of Meshalom, the son of Zadok, the son of Merioth, Merioth, the son of Ahitub, the ruler of the house of God, and Adadiah, the son of Jeroham, the son of Pasher, the son of Melchijah, and Ma Masai, the son of Adil, and the son of Jehazerah, the son of Meshalom, the son of Meshilamith, the son of Immer, and their brethren, heads of their house, of their fathers, a thousand and seven hundred and three score, very able men for the work of the service of the house of God. And of the Levites, Shemaiah, the son of Hashab, the son of Azrakam, the son of Ashabiah, of the sons of Merari, and Bacabar, Haresh, and Galal, and Mitaniah, the son of Micah, the son of Zikari, the son of Azapha, and Obadiah, the son of Shemaiah, the son of Galal, and the son of the son of <coughs> Jeduthun, and Berechiah, the son of Asa, the son of Elkanah, that dwelt in the villages of the Netoph Netophathites. And the porters were Shalom, and Akub, and Talmud, and Ahiman, and their brethren. Shalom was the chief, who hereto waited in the king's gate eastward. There were porters in the companies of the children of Levi, and Shalom the son of Korah, the son of Ebisaph, the son of Korah, and his brethren of the house of his father, the Korahites, were over the work of the service, keepers of the gates of the tabernacle, and their fathers being over the host of the Lord were keepers of the entry. And Phineas the son of Eleazar was the ruler over them in time past, and the Lord was with him. And Zechariah the son of Meshelomiah was porter of the door of the tabernacle of the congregation. All these which were chosen to be porters in the gates were two hundred and twelve. These were reckoned by their genealogy in their villages, whom David and Samuel the seer did ordain in their set office. So they and the children had the oversight of the gates of the house of the Lord, namely the house of the tabernacle by wards. In four quarters were the porters toward the east, west, north, and south, and their brethren which were in their villages were to come after seven days and from time to time with them. For these Levites, the four chief porters, were in their set office and were over the chambers of the treasuries of the house of God, and they lodged round about the house of God because the charge was upon them, and the opening thereof every morning pertained to them. And certain of them that had charge in the ministering vessels that they should bring them in and out by tale, some of them were also appointed to oversee the vessels and all the instruments of the sanctuary, 
and the fine flour, and the wine, and the oil, and the frankincense, and spices. And some of the sons of the priests made the ointment of the spices. And Metahiah, the one of the Levites, who was the firstborn of Shalom, the Korahite, had the set office over the things that were made in the pans. And other than, than, other than their brethren of the sons of the Kohathites, were over the shoe bread to prepare it every Sabbath. And these are the singers, chief of the fathers of the Levites, who remaining in the chambers were free, for they were employed in the work of day and night. These chief fathers of the Levites were chief throughout their generations. These dwelt at Jerusalem, and at Gibeon dwelt the father of Gibeon, Jehiel, whose wife's name was Machah, and the firstborn son, Abdon, then Zer, and Kish, and Baal, and Ner, and Nadab, and Gedor, and Ahio, and Zechariah, and Mikloth. And Mikloth beget Shim, Shimim, and they, also, and they also dwelt with their brethren at Jerusalem over against their brethren. And Ner beget Kish, and Kish beget Saul, and Saul beget Jonathan, and Melchishua, and Abinadab, and Eshbel. And the son of Jonathan was Meribel, and Meribel begat Micah. And the, and the sons of Micah were Pithon, and Melch, Melish, and Tahera, and Ahaz. And Ahaz begat Jerah, and Jerah begat Alameth, and Az, Azmaveth, and Zimri, and Zimri begat Moza. And Moza begat Bina, and Rephaniah his son, Eliash his son, Aziel his son, and Aziel had six sons whose names are these, Azrakam, Bacharu, and Ishmael, and Shariah, and Obadiah, and Hanan. These were the sons of Aziel. Chapter 10 Now the Philistines fought against Israel, and the men of Israel fled from before the Philistines, and fell down slain in Mount Gilboa. And the Philistines followed hard after Saul and after his sons, and the Philistines th slew Jonathan and Abinadab and Melchishua, Melch the sons of Saul. And the battle went sore against Saul, and the archers hit him, and he was wounded of the archers. Then said Saul to his armor-bearer, Draw thy sword, and thrust me through therewith, lest these uncircumcised come and abuse me. But his armor-bearer would not for he was sore afraid. So Saul took a sword and fell upon it. And when his armor-bearer saw that Saul was dead, he fell likewise on the sword and died. So Saul died and his three sons, and all his house died together. And when all the men of Israel that were in the valley saw that, the, saw that they fled, and that Saul and his sons were dead, then they forsook their cities and fled, and the Philistines came and dwelt in them. And it came to pass on the morrow, when the Philistines came to strip the slain, that they found Saul and his sons fallen in Mount Gilboa. And when they had stripped him, they took his head and his armor, and sent into the land of the Philistines round about to carry tidings unto the idols and to the people. And they put his armor in the house of their gods, and fastened his head in the temple of Dagon. And when all Jebesh Gilead heard all that the Philistines had done to Saul, they arose all the valiant men and took away the body of Saul and the bodies of his sons and brought them to Jabesh and buried their bones under the oak in Jabesh and fasted seven days. So Saul died for his transgression which he committed against the Lord, even against the word of the Lord which he kept not, and also for asking counsel of one that had a familiar spirit and inquire of it, and inquired not of the Lord's. Therefore he slew him and turned the kingdom unto David the son of Jesse. Chapter 11 Then all Israel gathered themselves to David unto Hebron, saying, Behold, we are thy bone and thy flesh. And moreover in time past, when, even when Saul was king, thou wast he that leddest out of the, and broughtest in Israel. And the Lord thy God said unto thee, Thou shalt feed my people Israel, and thou shalt be ruler over my people Israel. Therefore came all the elders of Israel to the king to Hebron, and David made a covenant with them in Hebron before the Lord, and they anointed David king over Israel, according to the word of the Lord by Samuel. 
And David and all Israel went to Jerusalem, which is Jebus, where the Jebusites were, the inhabitants of the land. And the inhabitants of Jebus said to David, Thou shalt not come to hither. Nevertheless, David took the castle of Zion, which is in the city, which is the city of David. And David said, Whosoever smiteth the Jebusites first shall be chief and captain. So Joab the son of Zeruiah went up, was went first up and was chief. And David dwelt in the castle; therefore they called it the city of David. And he built the city round about, even from Milo round about. And Joab repaired the rest of the city. So David waxed greater and greater, for the Lord of hosts was with him. There, there also was are there also are the chief of the mighty men whom David had, who strengthened themselves themselves with him, in his kingdom and with all Israel to make him king according to the word of the Lord concerning Israel. And this is the number of the mighty men whom David had: Joshua, Beam, uh, Hachmonite the chief of the captains, he lifted up his spear against three hundred slain by him at one time. And after him was Eleazar, the son of Dodo, the Ahoy, who, uh, who was one of the three mighties. He, wa he was with David at, at Pashdanim, and there the Philistines were gathered together to battle, where, where was a parcel of ground full of barley, and the people fled from before the Philistines. And they set themselves in the midst of that parcel and delivered it, and slew the Philistines, and the Lord saved them by a great deliverance. Now three of the thirty captains went down to the rock to David, into the cave of Adullam, and a host of the Philistines encamped in the valley of Rephaim. And David was then in the hold, and the Philistines' garrison was at Bethlehem. And David longed and said, Oh, and one would give me drink of the water of the well of Bethlehem that is at the gate. And the three break through the host of the Philistines and drew water out of the well of Bethlehem that was by the gate and took it and brought it to David. But the David would not drink of it, but poured it out to the Lord and said, My God forbid me that it, I should do this thing. Shall I drink of the blood of these men that have put themselves in jeopardy? For with the jeopardy of their lives they brought it, therefore he would not drink it. These things did these three mightiest. And Abishai, the brother of Joab, was the chief of the three, for lifting up his spear against three hundred, he slew them and had a name among the three. Of the three, he was more honorable than the two, for he was their captain, albeit he, he attained not to be the first three. Benani, the son of Jehoiada, the son of a valiant king of Kebazil, who had done many acts, he he slew two lion-like men of Moab. Also he went down and slew a lion in a pit in a snowy day. And he slew an Egyptian, a man of great stature, five cubits high. And in the Egyptian's hand was a spear like a weaver's beam. And he went down to him with a staff and plucked the spear out of the Egyptian's hand and slew him with his own spear. He sings did Benaniah, the son of Jehoiada, and his name and had the name among the three mighties. Behold, he was honorable among the thirty, but attained not to be the first three, and David set him over his guard. Also the valiant men of the armies were Ashiel, the brother of Joab, Elhanan, the son of Dodo of Bethlehem, Shamoth the Haroite, Helaz the Felonite, Ira the son of Ikish the, Th the Tekoite, Abiezer the Antothite, Sibakai the Hushathite, Eliai the Ahoite, Mahari the Neophathite, Heled the son of Benani, ba, Bena the Neo, Netophathite, Ithai the son of Ribai of Gibba, that pertained to the children of Benjamin, Benaniah the Pirithonite, Harai of the brooks of Ga, Gash, Abiel the Abarthite, Abar Azmeveth the, the Baharumite, Eliash, Eliaba the Shalabonite, the sons of Harishim the Gizanite, Jonathan the son of Shage the Herith, Herite, Ahim the son of Sakir the 
Heretite, Elaphal the son of Ur, 